some south into southern Tennessee to Teleco Plains. Now that was the place I wanted to go when I was finishing the Georgia Traverse and didn't make it. Um, so it was kind of cool to get into that area. We camped overnight at this place called Holly Flats uh, Campground. It's a national forest campground in the Cherokee National Forest. Basically, um, it, it sits at the base of a mountain. Um, it just kind of right there off the road and uh, we were lucky there was no one there but we were unlucky because it rained. It rained and rained and rained. Um, I think it was almost 12 hours worth of rain before it kind of finally let up the next day and the little creek that uh, we were camped by came up about a foot and a half or two. So you can see in the videos what the uh, little creek looked like before it rained and then what it looked like after it rained and it's uh, quite a remarkable difference. So in the car we have Sam, then we also have Emily and Henry. Hi guys! This is uh, Henry's first uh, overlanding and camping trip, so, and, but this was a kind of way for uh, Emily and I to kind of get away from um, work and everything else for a little while. Jacob is staying home to take care of the house and the other dogs. And uh, Sam, of course, is back here uh, snoozing. So after we left uh, Teleco uh, Plains, uh, we ended up finding a campground in, in Mississippi, um, just outside of Holly Springs, uh, Mississippi. And uh, we stayed at uh, Wall Doxy uh, State Park. It's just outside of uh, where Old Miss is. And again, we found some dispersed camping inside the state park and there was nobody there so uh, they've had some kind of unprecedented rain here the last few days and uh, so we got to the state park right after it, it finished raining um, we were all of our stuff was wet from the day before so it didn't get a whole lot of chance to dry out because of the humidity um, but it, we did get to dry some, which was nice, and then it didn't rain. It was just kind of sticky, uh, but it was nice and quiet. Uh, we were able to uh, get a shower, which was nice after being on the road for three days. And today, uh, we're headed to uh, the Ozarks, like I said. So the plan is to do the uh, high water mark trail. Um, we downloaded the GPX file to Gaia so that we kind of know the route. It's an overlanding route that goes through the Ozarks. Uh, I believe there's 12 water crossings. Uh, so we'll kind of see what that's all about. We're excited to do that. And, uh, and from there, we're gonna head to New Mexico. And um, Trinchera Pass is uh, one of the first passes we're gonna take. And then from there, we're gonna head over to Lake City in Colorado and start the Alpine Loop and just kind of go from there. So. Um, all the passes right now, major passes in the, um, the area outside of uh, Telluride and Ure are all open, um, with the exception of Imogene Pass. So Imogene Pass is open from Telluride uh, to Tomboy, the town of Tomboy, and then they've got bridge replacements all the way to the rest of the top. But you can get to the top of Imogene Pass from Ure. Uh, but you got to turn around and come back down. So we may or may not do that. Uh, Black Bear Pass opened just the other day, but I think we're going to skip that one. Um, but weather dependent, kind of depend on how we go and where we go. And uh, eventually we may end up uh, in southern Utah near Moab. It just depends on um, our time. So if these are uh, the kind of places you'd like to see, uh, please stick around for the videos. Um, we're going to do one video on the high water uh, mark trail, and then we're going we're gonna to start our Colorado series once we get to Trinchera Pass in New Mexico, and um, we'll do, uh, we'll kind of see how long each one of those uh, areas are, and we'll try and do enough so that uh, you all can see uh, what each one is like. So. Uh, I don't know how many videos this is going to make. I guess a lot of it will just kind of work its way as we kind of move through things. So, like I said, if this is something you're interested in, uh, please subscribe. 
like, um, leave a comment. If you have any places that you know of that you think would be cool for us to go while we're in Colorado, uh, drop a comment uh, down below. And uh, like I said, subscribe so that you can be notified of the next thing. Follow us on Instagram. So Instagram for us right now is live. So you can see where we are and what we're doing. Thanks for watching. Um, like I said, subscribe, check us out, and uh, stay tuned for the rest of the videos. Uh, this is Dan from Fisher Deep Adventures. And